Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix. In today's video we'll be talking a lot about uh, Pascal. Pascal has of course a long and storied history. It is an older language. It, it was created in 1970 so it's now 53 years old and it has its roots obviously in Algol 60. Everything starts with Algol 60. Algol 60 is kind of the uh, the origin for many of the programming languages we still use today, such as C, Go, um, and many other languages trace their roots back to Algol 60. Algol 60, very influential, was created obviously as the name implies in 1960. It was controlled by a, uh, by a committee, which is perhaps not the best way to, uh, to go about things as we know today, but there was this committee and one of the members of this committee was uh, Professor Niklaus Wirt, or Wirt uh, from ETH uh, University in Zurich in Switzerland. And uh, when, it, when 19, I think 66 came around, or maybe 69, I think one of those dates, uh, it was time to give Algol 60 uh, a new, I think 1966 actually, it was time to start uh, addressing all the issues of Algol 60 and think about the next version, which was eventually called Algol 68. And um, and uh, Niklas Wirt would, would not agree with many of the ideas of Algol 68, so he went and created uh, Pascal, named of course after the uh, French mathematician Blaise Pascal, and he created in 1970, um, wanting to address many of the shortcomings of, of Algol 60 and Algol 68. And he came up with Pascal, and Pascal became, as we know today, immensely popular, especially because in the uh, 70s and 80s, because of the uh, microcomputers or, or mini computers uh, out there, um, especially on things like uh, IBM PCs when they start to come around in the early 80s. Uh, and because Pascal is a clean and small language, but still a safe uh, language, uh, it's not difficult to write a compiler for Pascal, and so many people out there went and wrote compilers. And, uh, and so it made it easy to have spread out Pascal to all kinds of platforms. It was, you could have it on the Apple computer, you could have it on the IBM PC. And of course, one of the machines that had, um, as you can see here, that had a compiler for Pascal was the IBM uh, mainframe. And uh, uh, IBM had its own compiler, which was derived from the uh, Stanford uh, compiler and Professor Professor Nicholas Wirt himself for a while was at Stanford and I'm not a big expert on Pascal I did quite a bit of Pascal programming in in the in the 80s but um, I haven't done much with it however there's this one person called Bernd Oppolzer in Germany and I've actually had a video about this about six years ago where I tried to install the, the Stanford Pascal compiler updated back then uh, let's see if he has uh, maybe yeah continuing work in summer 2016 so I think it was last time 2016 2017 I tried to install the version he had back then and failed for a number of reasons uh, um, but uh, today in 2023 he has an updated version of the Stanford compiler and uh, apparently runs on Windows OS 2 Linux and VMCMS I think that Mr. Oppolzer himself actually runs mostly on VM. Uh, that's the idea I get, so it's maybe not, um, MBS is not, he's, um, is not where he's usually working, uh, the environment he's usually working at, but um, nonetheless, there is a version for MBS TK4, and in today's video, I would like to um, get this installed, and uh, after six years, give it a new attempt. But before we go there, let's switch to the commercials. This pass play runs out of the I formation. This man is working on a game plan. He scouts the other team's plays, pinpoints the weaknesses and errors, and records them on his new IBM 224 dictating unit. This man is going to court, but not before he uses the new IBM 224 to record the information and data he needs to plead his case. What's trouble? This man is checking production. 
With this new IBM 224, he can record suggestions and ideas as they occur, instead of trusting them to memory. At only 28 ounces, this new IBM dictating unit is so small and so compact that you can use it anywhere you think. At home, on trips, in conferences, and of course behind your desk. For more information about the new IBM 224, call your IBM representative. And we're back from the commercials. Now, our mission today here is to get this updated Stanford compiler to install. This the release from just a couple of days ago, um, from the 8th of January, 2023. Uh, these are the new features. Uh, constant parameters now work with record. So by the way, uh, Pascal has uh, the notion of record. Uh, it is a type safe language, um, has few uh, keywords, as I mentioned, so easy to write a compiler for. And what Bernd has done here is simply amazing. He's taken something that's 50 years old or more and has been keeping updating it. And that just again shows uh, how amazing our community is that out of passion and love for the things that we do, we keep uh, bringing new technology um, to something, uh, an, um, an operating system environment that's uh, itself almost 50 years old. So, um, so it's quite amazing. So uh, he has versions for VM, uh, for Windows, of course, for Linux, Mac OS, etc., and for MBS. That's what we're concerned with today. Um, there is a download, so let's get started with that. And I have here my own particular MVS TK4. It's just a standard TK4 with a bunch of changes. Uh, of course, I've been using it for many years now and, uh, and I've changed a number of things and probably most of the changes I've made um, to this uh, TK4 I have shown in this video nothing, nothing uh, that makes it incompatible with the TK4 that you're using. It's exactly the same. So uh, I don't want to start it right now. Uh, let me see what Hercules I have. I have Hercules 3.13. Um, uh, that's the Spinhawk version of Hercules, which is good enough for what we want to do here. So this is downloading. Okay, let's go look at it. Uh, Okay, so uh, here are the contents of the uh, MVS downloadable folder after you unzip it. Um, your Windows machine may actually see this as a virus, so um, that's why uh, I prefer to work on uh, non-Windows stuff. Uh, recently, a uh, viewer was uh, upset with me because he felt that I'm bashing Windows too much, but I'm not bashing it. It works perfectly fine. It's just I don't know much about it, so I'm sorry um, if uh, people get offended by it. Um, so uh, let's see documentation. Uh, is there a documentation here? External procedures. Uh, there's no PDS there, so PDF. Let's look here. Hmm. Where is the dog? Okay. Nope. There should be installation guide here. It is sorry. Um, Google Chrome for that. Okay, so um, let's put this as our documentation for now. And um, so the documentation says version of 2019, but this is packaged with date of 2023. I'll just assume that this is just um, an oversight for now. Uh, first of all, please excuse possible errors in English. I'm German and not a native English speaker. That's okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So this is what we see here as well. Um, most important that the file is passload, passload two, passload three. Okay. Let's see. General considerations. Uh, code page. Yep. That is obviously he uses code page 850. Okay. We'll have to see about that. 
Windows dependencies, obviously, yeah, control line feed. He sends, uh, so he's, he's working on Windows and that's why he has this command file, which I think is what the vir antivirus on Windows doesn't like. Um, but, um, all right, so we're gonna have to see about that. Choose a high level qualifier for New Stanford Pascal. He uses uh, Pascal N. Okay, makes life easier. Okay, we'll follow that. Check if you use the prepared pass volume. Uh, for, two th for the 2019 version, I first tried another maybe short installation method. This distribution contains a prepared pass volume. Let's see if it's here. Yeah, it's here. And this is also 2023. It's 25 megabytes. Possibly a 3350. Oh yeah, here it says 3350. Uh, if you decide to try this, you should do the following. Prepare an empty PASC02 volume, then add it to, the, to TK4, then start it, take your phone, run the jobs, pass done and pass. See you later, if you've done this, you will have, um, bring down, I don't know what PASC Dell is. Let's, can we open this? Where is it, PASC Dell? Oh, here it is. Open with notepad. Delete. So it deletes a bunch of um, data sets with ID cams, with the uh, vSAM administration um, routine. So he first deletes this, and then uh, he wants us to run afterwards alloc. Where is, where is alloc? Here it is. And then he defines those again on volume pask 01. Okay, so I understand what he's doing here. So I think uh, he's deleting them. So he wants us to, <laughs> I understand. He wants us to create the volume, an empty volume, then uh, IPL MVS, make sure, and then delete those. Um, we need, of course, then to make sure that we have um that we have formatted this volume this new volume then he wants us to delete just to make sure and then he wants us to allocate him again i think he's doing that because he assumes so, uh, he wants us to allocate them before and then we move the the one that's okay so i understood what he wants us to do is create an empty pass 01 volume then um, delete just in case we have them, which we won't. Then allocate those files again, so they're in the in the in the catalog. Then remove this empty uh, volume, throw it away, and then use the one that's in here, so that the catalog will find all the data sets in the right place. Uh, I understand why uh, he's doing it. There's there's better ways probably to do it, um, uh, but uh, burned works on VM mostly, so. Uh, um, maybe um, he doesn't know about the other ways you can work with catalogs, but okay, so we can follow his, we, if we follow exactly what he says and see if we can get it to work. So, um, so what he wants us to do is to go to, I hope you can see here, let me see if I can make this bigger. Properties. So now it should be bigger. Of course, it means we also cover more of this thing here. So bear with me as I make this as readable as possible for you. And we also cover, okay. So we go to DASD, and what he wants us to do is create a new 3350. Okay, there's init. I think he means to say minus A because we need the spare track. Um, that's an error. So we do it with dasty uh, dash A and then pass 01242. We want it to be a 3350 and the volume is pass 01. Okay, so we, now we have this pass. Um, Windows, of course, uh, is uh, not cap sensitive mostly. I think that's why we have, um, we have here some job, some files called um, with the capitals and some with not caps 
Okay, so I'll put this away for now. Um, so we have now this file, and now we need to, what is it called again? Um, PASC01242, okay. So we go now to the TK4 configuration file, and we say notepad, and we go, and hopefully I don't have a conflict with the 242 here. Where is it? No, I don't, so that's fine. So we say 0242-3350-DASD-PASC01242. And we save. And Windows doesn't care about the extra control line feed. So now he wants to start Hercules and ran and run past Dell. Okay. So Hercules. Okay, so we have now Hercules started, IPL 148, uh, here's the nucleus announcing itself, we continue with IPL, and now we need to um, start up a, uh, a terminal emulator, let's do that. Okay, so let's get in, and so now we have this test, the um, which obviously needs to be varied off right now because it's not even formatted. Very 240 offline. Okay. And we need to go format it before we can do anything. So I do have an ICK, ICK DSF somewhere. Um, not here. Okay, so we need to format this disk before we can do anything with it. Uh, which uh, burnt here just assumes that people do, that's fine. We're going to do that. Uh, we said it's 242 and it's PASC01. And this is a 3350, so one cylinder is 30 tracks, so let's give it one cylinder of uh, VTOG and let's submit this job 986 it's asking us here the console um, to continue ended so 986 let's check what it says here Probably make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so start 3.8 and let's go to. So this completed fine. 242 is now um, pre-talk allocated, so that went fine. So now we could, in theory, vary this on, vary 242 online. Okay, and now, if we go there, there's no data set on it. So if I try to list this, PASC01, it will not, yeah, it cannot be accessed because there's nothing on it. We need to first define something on it to be able to view it. But it's there. And we can also go to the parmlib and add 242. As you can see here, I have some other stuff installed. Um, let's replicate this one, PASC01, make this private, and uh, Stanford Pascal. And of course, this is a 3350, not a 3380. Okay, so this looks fine. So now it will come up automatically. So now he said something about um, running pass del and pass alloc so to do that i guess we need to 
um, we can how do we upload this um, let's just do a transfer so let's, we don't need to uh, remove the Pascal. well let's just put it up the way he says it but there's nothing to delete because I've never had Pascal installed here so uh, transfer sent to host and then um, we go to desktop and we say pass Dell, okay, and we call it error two zero one test cntl task task Dell, and it's text and it's TSO, and we put it up, and that was done, and now pass alloc. So send to host pass alloc. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And we call it pass alloc. So bear with me as we put this up. And that was done very quickly because it's on a local host machine. Let's go back to ISO apples. And do we have your pass? Okay, so he wants us to delete all the stuff which we don't have, but um, let's do it the way he writes it in his um, in his documentation. User Pascal, that's his user and password on his system, but we don't need it because we're not supplying it from the from the card reader. If you were supplying from the card, you would have to use the the, the user ID and password, and I don't want to show it here, so that's why I'm doing it this way. And then uh, it just runs IDCAM, and I don't see uh, how that can hurt anything. So let's submit it. And it's job 987. Let's go check it out. I have here a bunch of jobs which I can delete. Okay. So let's look at this. So this went well. Obviously, there's nothing to delete. Uh, as you can see, your function complete highest condition code, uh, not in catalog. So he wants to do all this so that so that in the end it will show up in the catalog. And when we then move in the volume that he's supplying here with Pascal installed, it's automatically already in the catalog. We're doing all this uh, for the catalog, which is fine. Um, so we switch now to pass alloc and this has to complete fine we don't need his user id and password um, let's say here notify zero one and uh, so he wants them in in pass zero one he wants them there and uh, that's the space allocation and it's all fixed block uh, except for this one. This is of course the load modules. The, this has to be record format U. And yeah, so this looks fine. So now let's run this job. 988, max condition code zero. So let's go check it out. Here it is. Um, so we have all this has been cataloged and so the whole everything we've done so far is just to have this stuff cataloged and that's all that he wants us to do so we do exactly as he says and um, I guess at this point we can shut down and then put, move in the volume with the installed uh, version in so we and all this is just the shortcuts we don't have to do everything else that he says in his documentation. So we're basically at step three. Uh, and then if all this goes well, then we go to step 13. So we skip basically 10 steps by doing it this way. Shut down. Okay, so we have shut down. We can um, disconnect at this point and
So something is happening here. Okay. And it's going down. Okay. That's fine. That's all fine. So we're going to take uh, a shortcut here. Um, all right, it's coming down quick enough. So let's let's let it do its job. Um, let's read in the documentation a bit further what comes next. So then we if we need to move this PASC 042 into place. So, um, okay. So we go here now. Um, okay, where is it? Ah, here. So we need to take this one, control C, and move it into this directory as soon as MVS is shut down, we can just override it here. Uh, basically overriding this bad boy here. Uh, we can actually delete this one because it's open, yeah, it's open and it doesn't want me to let. Okay, so let's wait until it finishes here because this is the empty one that we put in just so we could have the catalog in place. Uh, alrighty, so no, I don't want to open this file. Um, where are we? Okay, so so now we can do we can delete this one, and we can copy the other one in place. So this one is not empty. This one, as you can see here, we just copy in place as twenty five megabytes. Let's start this bad boy again. And IPL one forty eight. Uh, continue okay and now we reconnect our and I think we actually don't need the we can reconnect now let's wait for this to reconnect yeah it's all a bit crowded because I'm making the font so big. I'm sorry about this, but um, that's the way we have to do it. Okay. No, this is not my terminal. Okay, we can log in now. All right. So we're back again. And now if you go to... Uh, Task zero one. If everything is correct, yeah, here, here it is, and this is now all pop populated. Okay, so um, so we followed his instructions exactly, and we are now here. So now the task zero one two four two has the contents and has the catalog entries. We could have just copied it in here and then run a catalog uh, job, but uh, but we're just following exactly as he says. Now let's go to uh, thirteen. Skip all this, go to step 13, and copy and compiler procedures. Yeah, I guess we do need to move the compiler procedures, but let's look at that in a second. So, okay, so he has some uh, compiler verification jobs here in test program CMTL, and prime, what is it called? Prime Zerl, uh, where is it? Yeah, it's here. And of course, this has now Pascal uh, compile and link. And to do that, and here's the input to the, but it assumes that we've copied um, the procedures into our procedure library. So actually, it should go to step 11, not to step 13, but that's fine. Um, let's do that. So. Uh, Let's do this. We can do this with a job, but um, it's maybe a little bit easier to do it this way. He says that uh, it's in this data set. 
Okay, so we copy everything, and since it's cataloged, I assume it will find it. Yes, it did. And we move everything into, uh, on TK4, you would move it into Sys2, proc lib. Okay, five members copied. That's fine. And we go now again to, so now we can go to step 13 and try to run these jobs here. So where is it? Uh, Pascal test program CNTL. If this all works, then uh, I want to write a little program myself in Pascal and see if we can get it to work. Okay, so let's run this job. Prime um, class X. This library checks out the load library. The source is in here. These are the values. Uh, let's give it a try. I don't know. Job 990. Okay. Let's go to the output. Oh yeah, this one fine. <laughs> That's nice. Compile, post processing, and you know Pascal converts into uh, something. So, so people today think that Java invented the uh, the Java virtual machine and having a bytecode. No, this has been around for much much longer. So Pascal always had its own bytecode called P2, and of course um, there was there were several implementations of that. There was a Pascal machine, uh, there was UCSD, so there was lots of stuff that, um, but it compiles basically into bytecode, which is very portable. And uh, so let's see here. All right, so we're uh, in business. So Stanford Pascal upholds a version 2023, so we have the correct one. I was a little bit worried since this says 2019 the documentation that we would have uh, end up with the 2019 but uh, it's just a documentation has not been updated but the compiler is 2023 that's good no errors no warnings um, I think it's nice to have a compiler summary at the top of the app but whereas the IBM compilers always put it at the very end uh, and it's nice to have something at the beginning and so uh, here's the Pascal program you have the indentation level here in the output listing. That's nice. So I think this is a prime number generator or something like that. And um, of course, uh, begin, which uh, shows its root in algol 60, the begin statement. And uh, it's a nice, elegant language. I like it. It looks nice to read. It's I like it a lot. So. Uh, table of offsets and statement numbers and then we have a debugger interesting uh, this is the MBS linkage by the way I ran this uh, linkage editor from the 1970s recently on ZOS 2.5 and it still works fine of course and does its job it's just a user program there's nothing there's no reason why it shouldn't work on ZOS but it does work so, and it tells us here it found uh, prime numbers. Um, okay. And uh, it has its output, that's nice. And then it says there's a Fibonacci with a very expensive recursive. Okay, so there's a recursion. Let's go switch. Where is a Fibok? This one. Herc01 Fibonacci. Uh, region zero, I don't know about that. Let's see how region sensitive it is. Uh, can I run it with uh, level? Let's see if it runs in four megabytes. Okay, let's try to run this. Freebook, GoParameter, no snap, Pascal. 
obviously we now have to learn we would have to study the language manual to see all the stuff that it can do yeah ADA I think the region is too small so um, I don't know if we have 8 megabytes in TK4 it's a good question let's try to submit it and it's doing something uh, job 992 let's switch yeah that went fine so it needs 8 megabytes or between anywhere between 4 megabytes and 8 megabytes so here it is the first one abandoned because we didn't have enough virtual memory so uh, the second one went through um, again oh this has the pseudo listing which uh, is nice okay very nice job well done burned up also and we have the Fibonacci's here so uh, this seems to work now what I would like to do is uh, write my own um, eight queens solver as you know if whenever I test a compiler or interpreter I have to write a a, uh, a an n, n queen uh, solver so I'll do that here and I will put it in accelerated mode so that it's not too boring for you. And then in the end, we'll see if I can make this compile with our compiler here. So uh, bear with me as I start writing this program. So I did uh, type in, a, you know, convert my PL1 program or my assembler and Queen Solver into Pascal. Uh, however, uh, there is uh, somewhere a bug in the compiler itself i also had some syntax errors um, that i still need to work around but as you can see here this is not an output from my program this is an output from the compiler it it um it has a loop somewhere and it produced uh, uh how many six hundred thousand lines of output and just two was compiling here was while the job was running and i had to cancel it because otherwise I would have run out of uh, out of uh, spool space, which is not good. But uh, yeah, so um, I'd ha I, I would need to spend some more time with this. I have one thing that I need to check in the manual how to do it. But uh, anyway, so I'm almost there, and uh, uh, maybe I'll make a new video about this once uh, I find how to make this work. And we've seen what's uh, what's the problem with the compiler here, but I, I this is probably just uh, my own wrongdoing. I'm not in any way uh, criticizing here or uh, or saying there is a bug. Maybe it's just me, but it is definitely the compiler that produces this output, right? I mean, unexpected end of line in P code. That's uh, that's something wrong. I don't know. I I don't want to bother you too much in this video with it. Uh, I'm gonna go and. Uh, delete this out put here before it goes too crazy okay so um, so we reclaim some spool space but um, other than that there uh, certainly there is certainly uh, it's certainly a compiler that you can work with as we have seen um, it does work and uh, and now we have a, a compiler that's uh, from the early 70s uh, has now been ported uh, and been updated to, um, to 2023. And I think it's great. As we can see here, and as we've seen here from the uh, documentation, there's still a little bit of work on updating the documentation. Um, but if you follow this video, uh, you will get it to work. And uh, I think the only thing that I have seen that needs to uh, be uh, fixed is that it will not run if you just say uh, dash in it. It needs to be dash in it dash a um, dash in is minus a pask zero one because otherwise you don't have a spare um, track and uh, and uh, the formatting will not work. But other than that, just follow exactly as I did it in my video. You should get it to work, no problem. If you have any issues. Please let me know, but I think it's it's nice that we have an updated uh, compiler. And uh, thank you, Burned Up Holzer. Uh, great work. 
uh, I, it's really amazing uh, that you put in so much time and uh, once again the community is just amazing so um, I think I'll stop here if you have any questions please post them in the in the comments below this video and um, I will point in the description below this video to the um, to the to the website and, um, and I'm sure that if there's any questions, Bern is also going to be willing to help. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye bye.